Yeah, what's good? Pat, Pat, gang. What's good with the gang, man? It's Gears back with the Mamba mentality, back with another video. So look, listen here. I'm about to try to make this video quick. I'm not gonna try to draw it out too long. I'm gonna get straight to the point. This right here, this right here is the playmaking badges you need. I'm gonna go through all of them, give a little brief, maybe one sentence, two sentences, maybe, depending on how good the badge is. I'm gonna give you a little rundown of all the playmaking badges, which ones I recommend on bronze, gold, hall of fame, highest level, blah, 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 hoop, and blue, blah. So this is my take on a badge breakdown, I guess you should call it. Yeah, badge breakdown, that sounds pretty good. Shout out to everybody that's done this already. But look, this is from Gear's point of view, man. So look, ankle breaker, trash badge, but if you got enough badges, throw it on there, it's gonna help you out. I don't really see the effects until gold, but silver, I, I maybe snapped a couple ankles. Okay, now bail out. So bailout, people be like, I ain't putting that bailout badge on this trash. No, bro. This is one of the best badges in the game, bro. Especially for guards. Because sometimes you think you open and you about to shoot. Nah, pass out. Without the bailout badge, you're going to throw a lot of turnover. So put it on bronze, bro. You don't need it much higher. Unless you're Ticino. Shout out to Ticino. But bronze is all you need unless you just got an extraordinary, exorbitant amount of badges for playmaking. Break starter, I mean, for bigs, you don't really need it. A bronze if you want. Dimer. For all my people that run Dimer out there, shout out to y'all. Y'all making the world a better place, bro. I ain't gonna lie. You might catch a bronze Dimer from me. Maybe. Silver, possibly, if I, if I get my badges maxed. Gold is optimal. Don't put this badge on Hall of Fame. For some reason, this badge is broken when you put it on Hall of Fame. If you don't remember nothing else from this video, remember, do not put this on Hall of Fame. It is broken. It makes people miss. I promise you. Okay, next, downhill. Downhill, it's an all right badge. If you're pretty slow or you're trying to be super speedy running up the court, I'd, I'd, I'd mess with a downhill if you got over 20 plus badges, man. Really, you need closer to 30 for me to run downhill or if you're just slow, like I said. But downhill is a pretty good badge, but you won't really see the effects until about gold. So if you're not going to put it on gold, don't even waste your time with downhill, bro. Next up, we have handles for days. Great badge. I recommend at least silver. You might not even be a super dribble or a dribble head or a steezo, but listen. You need this badge because without it, you're going to be tired and you're going to have to take a lot more tireless shots than usual, especially if you're the ball handler. So this prevents you from getting tired and shooting tired shots, which we know is always a bad shot unless you have tireless shooter. So put it on at least silver, please. Floor general. Dimer is better than this badge. I'm going to just tell you that now. But if you have a teammate that's close to speed boosting, like their playmaking is like an 85, or if they're close to getting that 86 three ball, which is the, well, it used to be the 100% green rating. So, boom. If they're close to that, I recommend a floor general to help them get there. But other than that, floor general is, is not a good badge. Like, if you saw Hall of Fame, you get the cool little percentages at the bottom of your name that everybody be seeing but that's pretty useless why do you need to see how well your teammate shoots from a place they can just tell you if they can shoot from there but so you don't really need floor general flashy passer this badge is useless unless you have close to 30 playmaking badges or or now hear me out you're grinding rep so flashy passer is it's definitely going to be useful if you're trying to boost rep. So if you're not throwing a lob, you're throwing a flashy passer. And the flashy passer boosts your takeover. It don't help you throw better flashy passes. Not like, not like last year. This just boosts your takeover meter. Live City Passer, you know what it does. If you're not a guard build, I guess you could put on Live City Passer. Or, like I said, this goes hand-in-hand -hand with flashy passer. Or if you're grinding rep. 
throw on Fl Lob City finisher because, as everybody knows, Lobs is the best rep this year. So go with Lob City finisher if you're trying to climb the ranks on your part rep. Needle threader. Um, I haven't found a use for this badge yet, but I'm not gonna down it. But I'm gonna tell you not to equip needle threader. Simple as that. Pass fake maestro. I've only seen one person use that this badge, and that's Power DF. He makes it look like a good badge. I'm not gonna lie. But a pass face are extremely effective without whatever it says it does. So don't worry about pass fake maestro, please. Next, the best badge on the game, quick first step. I'm not going to go too into detail on this badge because it is the best. Just know that. I don't care what build you got. I don't care how many playmaking badges you got. Your best bet is to max this badge first before you do anything else. Max quick first step. I don't care what build, what badge count, nothing. Max this badge out. Right, <coughs> right now. Right now. Space Creator, another badge that is extremely, extremely important. The Snatchback is one of the most overpowered, overused moves on this game, and Space Creator lets you break ankles with all step backs and hop jumpers. Shout out Ticino. So if you don't max this badge out, if you got like seven playmaking badges, max out gold quick first step, gold Space Creator, Bronze handles for days. You're done. Say less. Don't do nothing else. That's what you need. Bet. Unpluckable. You can read it and pretty much tell what this badge does. Unpluckable. So unpluckable stops you from getting ripped. And guess what? The badge is broken. It don't work. I promise you it don't work. Bronze and Hall of Fame, I swear, is about the same exact unpluckableness. Is that a word? Unpluckableness? Well, it's a word today, y'all. Put it in the dictionary. So, put it on bronze, people. Unpluckableness is the same on bronze and Hall of Fame. Keep it. Bronze. Unless you got 40, 30 playmaking badges, you can increase it. But keep it on bronze. Save the badge points. Tight handle. This badge used to be in the top, top, top tier. But now this badge is probably mid-level low tier but since they changed the behind the back that cheesy behind the back uh, combined with the highest level tight handles gg cut the game off you don't want to play somebody like that but now that the behind the back is out of the game it still works on like momentum crossovers and little moves like that but it's not nearly as effective but if you have enough playmaking badges i recommend you max this out too if you got enough. If you don't, don't worry about it. Space Creator definitely comes first. I, I promise you that. You can merch that. Stop and go. It used to be one of my favorite badges, but I have taken it off since like patch five. Like it seemed like patch five, something went wrong with stop and go and it just wasn't the same. But don't get me wrong. I don't know. I haven't used it since. So it could be a go to badge. But I'm going to recommend you don't use it. But if you do, I put it on bronze to maybe help you stop faster. Maybe. But other than that, I don't see much point in it. If you do, let me know in the comments. Um, I ain't going to argue with you. I'll just update it and I might try it out. But that is officially all the playmaking badges, man. If you need some more help, I could go more in depth on each single badge. But I just wanted to try to run through it as quick as I can. I have a lot, lot more to say about each and every one of these badges. So if you want some more help, drop a comment. If you need a, another um, category shooting or whatever, just let me know. But, you know, I'm just here to help, man. Let me know how I can help, and I will. But it's back. Back. Okay. And we out. You're...